good morning carrying on with my huswif my roll whatever you want to call it um as you can see i've added a load of bits <laughs> um i have done some stitching on the daisy i'm going to do a load more tonight i i like to have a bit of uh, stitching for the evening so um all i've done is pinned on these really bright colors at the moment and the um oh i found that scrap by the way that it, it is called garden dancers but i don't know who it's by because this is all i've got so um so i've chopped off the the dye number you know yeah the bit that tells you how many colors are on it basically can't remember what it's called doesn't matter uh so i've put those on there i've done a bit of chain stitch i'm using this absolutely larry yarn but it uh thread rather it's a uh, wonderful per day cotton uh ezm1004 so i'm using that to add some brightness to this so tonight i'm going to sit and do i think a load more chain stitch on here to really lighten that up and brighten it up i don't print them in that dark color anymore um two seconds let me just grab these yeah i've gone for a lighter background now so that would have gone better but i'd already done this one so i thought i might as well use it so anywho um yeah so that's kind of where i am at the moment as i say i will do a lot of this in the evenings now i don't know if you follow marion's world um she's on youtube i'll put a link below you probably already follow her anyway she done a, a pinwheel last night she's doing a, a huswif as well uh, i don't think joining in with roxy i think she's just doing it um yeah and she done this pinwheel thing um which is just like two bits of cardboard covered she did a fantastic embroidery i thought that'd be an, an ideal addition to this so um i'll be doing one but i'm going to do it in epp but i will do a sing separate video for that but now then uh yeah that's all the bits I've got my threads here <laughs> let's put you all back in there i really must make a nice bag for these um, wonderful threads because they're so beautiful but yesterday it was mother's day here yesterday in the uk i think it was just uk um and we went to a seaside town called tinmouth um and i went in the charity shop so i haven't gone through this yet now it's crinkle factor um yeah and I picked up this bag of goodies and here comes the sun to blind us all. Bear with me. Don't like shutting it out, but sometimes. Um, it was one ninety nine, And yeah, I was going to sort it out just to see if there's anything to go on my thing here. Right. Hold your, hold your, hold your ears for a second. Let me just empty this bag. I'll, I'll take it away from the microphone. Quite a lot in here let's just tip it hold tight crinkle crinkle right you go away because you're very noisy um yeah so i've got all sorts by the looks of it <laughs> i've particularly i saw these and i thought oh, they've got to be in my life so what have we got this chunk of that one that's pretty i don't think oh it smells of old ladies <laughs> I don't know what. oh dear that's probably inappropriate but yeah i don't think that'll go okay this is i thought this was interesting it's a very very has it just been oh uh, yeah it's just been gathered isn't that fun that'll be fun to couch down not on this one no not on that one it's not bright enough see i love this and i thought that might actually go on here in a weird and bizarre way like my mind works are you movable because there's a pucker there yes you are because these indian trims i like actually do you know what that might look really nice to go around there Oh, I think it will. Is there enough? That is the next question. Well, there's another bit there. Oh, I think that's going to be. Yeah, I think that's going to go on there. OK, cool. I'll keep that one out. And that's the same again, although that might be. A... So 
sorry, <laughs> totally experimental here. That bit, because that's longer, so that might go on another project. Right, okay, we'll put that in the pot of loveliness that I've got at the side there. So that'll bling it right up. <clears throat> this is like a... That's pretty. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. Not on there anyway. That's cute. I'll get these all on cards and put away in there. Oh, that's quite sweet. The little flowers. That might go on there somewhere. Because it has got blue in it. Well, that might be nice on there actually oh i'm really glad i bought this bag of things now jolly good and then there's just some generic white lace basically but again it's quite a lot on each one and a nice yellow one that's pretty yeah it's quite nice silver I think we've got enough colours going on because there is blue and pink. I'll think about that pink one. I'm not sure now. This I think definitely will go. Yep. Um, a wide satin ribbon. A piece of bias tape. My absolute nemesis, that stuff. I will get it one day on how to apply bias binding. <laughs> one day. This is nice actually. This is like um a cottony it feels cottony as opposed to the plasticky like ones. That's really pretty that one actually. And the gold ruffly. I'm not really a lacy <laughs> person. Not this kind of lace anyway. I've looked at that one. There's quite a lot of yardage of that one. And this is nice as well. It's got sequins on it. I don't think there'll be enough to go right around. Actually, no, because I'm going to bring the green round, aren't I? I know a lot of people were a bit iffy about the green, but I think it's going to look all right. I don't know why, but I do. I think it's going to be fine. That's nice. Pretty. Yeah, these are pretty, but I guess on the right project they'll be fine. So that's just a creamy colour. Yeah, well, there you go. There's a little, not sure about that now. Would that be better? No, maybe it's not quite right. If it had been that sort of really, really bright pale blue, I think it would have been better. Right, okay, we'll shelve that. I think this, I'm on there, yes, I think, it, I think that could work on there. There's a little border. Might even put some round here actually, because I've got plenty. And that'll tie that all together. Yeah, I think I will do that. These bits here are a piece of my gel printed fabric. So all I've done, uh, because it's like a rose stencil. Now the light's gone. <laughs> Put the light on. Let me like, oh, now you're the wrong colour. What the heck? There we are. Um, yeah, so I've just literally cut round there. I think I'm going to put them on. I, I quite like them. They're just a nice, simple. And these are obviously re pre-done um daisies and that and obviously the butterfly i might remove that big um pearl thing there i wonder if i can take it down i didn't really want it that big but it's okay it's okay um yeah that's a piece of gel printed fabric and um i had to cut off two of the numbers on that number strip so i'll just put them there on another piece of that there It's quite tempting to put that on there, actually. Looks 
I feel it goes because it's got that nice sort of turquoisey colour and you know although my pink isn't that pink it just kind of for me it works I don't know I don't know quite a lot of gold in the dragon or the what's it um mayflies or whatever you want to call them anyway that's kind of where I am um I like to do as I say I like to do a lot of stitching in the evening so um but I'm definitely going to do this um thing that Marion was doing last night because that was that was lovely so but I don't know what to do so if I'm going to do English paper piecing I think it's going to be inside so it could be right let's leave that with that I'll take you downstairs so as you can see I've done a load of stitching already so I'll do that downstairs later so if I'm going to do it I like to do little hexagons because these ones this size are too big they'll be too big I suppose I could not Oh dear, excuse me, I've got hiccups now. I suppose I could just do one big hexagon. I don't want it too big. I don't think hers was that big. Um, I think a hexagon shape will work. I don't see why not. I'm just trying to think that through. Because what she did was two pieces of card. And you kind of wrap them, cover them in fabric. As I say, she did a beautiful piece of stitching. I could thread paint one of these and do that I think that could work actually right anyway that's enough waffling um yeah that's kind of where I've got to <laughs> and uh, thank you all for the suggestions on what to put inside um I totally agree I've lost my bit of paper now I'm going to put a reminder note on there because I know what my brain's like. So um, it was um, scissor holder. Now normally what I do with the scissor holder is just a triangle. I might look at doing a different design for that. Um, pin cushion, well pin cushion. Um, I'm going to put flip, you know, like a little book sort of type thing. I think the drawstring pouch is a, is a given. Oh, no, not drawn. Draw. Oh, uh, string pouch. So let's think. So you want something to put your scissors in, definitely. I think the pin, the pinwheel is going to be fun to do. I'll do that as I say, in a separate video. Um, the pincushion I think is just going to be a simple piece of felt I find those the most effective pincushion or you know needle I say pincushion do I need a pincushion and a needle holder probably not if I'm going to have the pinwheel so I don't need I actually need a no not a pincushion so I just need a needle holder clip book type thing if you know what I mean and the pouch will be great for putting in threads what else do I need I should put in a tape measure holder I think I've got a tape measure somewhere came in a cracker I think at Christmas <laughs> um oh uh no not on this one um I think that's kind of all I need really thinking about it yeah I think that'll do so those are what I will put inside oh and that pinwheel I'm going to put that on there because I will forget and I think if I do a hexy one I think that'll look quite cool oops come on draw a hexagon oh lordy yeah because the idea is that the pins go in yeah okay i'm gonna do that right um yeah that's kind of where i've got to not very far quite frankly um but sometimes the surface design is um you know when you're putting on bits and bobs it's deciding that that can be a bit of a pain and it was nice to have a little rummage with you with um through my 
little find that I got yesterday. Oh, there's another bit there. Where did you come from? Don't remember seeing you first time round. It's definitely got a <laughs> it's got a scent about it. It's not, you know, the mouldy old cupboard scent, but um yes, you can tell a more mature lady had this in her stash before me. So that's quite pretty actually as well. On the right project, that would be beautiful. Right, okay, I'm going to put this all away, card it all up, and um, yeah, I'll bring you, I'll, I'll, I'll come back and do, if you watch Marianne's World, you'll know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it in a hexagon shape, just because. <laughs> right, I shall see you again soon. Bye for now.